My name is Erica and today I'm going to show you how to make a prong setting. We're going to use a flower cut amethyst gemstone and it is six millimeters wide. Very gorgeous stone. I'm going to put some links in the description below for the tools that you're going to need and where I get my wire from. Uh, just in case any of you need them. You're going to need two pieces of a 22 gauge square wire. I'm using um, 9 to 5 sterling silver but you can use any metal you'd like. I'm using uh, flush cutters. You're going to need tweezer nose pliers and nylon jaw pliers. You're going to need a fine tip sharpie or a awl uh, for marking your measurements onto your metal. Um, you're going to need some scribing calipers. Mine are adjustable. in a ruler. I'm using a metal 12 inch ruler uh, and your gemstone of course. And these prongs will work all the way up to about 10 or 12 millimeter stones if you'd like and all the way down to like 3 millimeter stones. Just up gauge and down gauge your wire as you go with the larger and smaller gemstone sizes. You're going to want to mark line your wires up between the 1 inch and the 4 inch mark and then mark the center point which is at the 2 inch mark. You're going to use this center point to measure the width and the height of your prongs. Make sure your wire is straight. I use my nylon jaw nylon jaw pliers uh, to make sure that my wires are straight. Um, it glides really good on the metal. Uh, make sure to mark your center point at the 2 inch mark. You can use some crafter's tape to tape your wires down. Measure your gemstone with your scribing calipers just under the lip of the stone, which is the little edge that runs around your stone. You're going to want to go about 0 0.5 millimeters in underneath that, that lip. Adjust your scribing calipers to be that width. width. Mark your width on either side of the two inch, or, or line it up on the center center mark, and mark uh, your width of your stone with your scribing calipers. I'm going to mark it with a sharpie uh, as well as my calipers, just to make sure you can see them. Uh, you're going to measure from the top facet that is nearest to the edge to the bottom of your gemstone. You want, uh, you want your scribing calipers to fit on that uh, facet and about one millimeter up from the point of your gemstone. Or 0 0.5 millimeters up from that bottom point of your of your gemstone. Again, I'm going to line up my center mark, and then I'm going to mark from each width mark 
uh, to the height mark. Make a height mark here with my scribing calipers and then I'm going to mark it with my sharpie just so that I can make sure that you guys can see the mark that I made with my scribing calipers. This is going to determine the height of your problems. You're going to want to do this on both sides. Line uh, the mark, the center mark up, as that's going to line the rest of your marks up, your measurement marks. And just make sure that they are nice and even. And then just go ahead and use your tweezer nose pliers to grab right underneath the width mark. And hold with your pliers and bend with your fingers. Now you're going to want to do this on both sides of your prong setting. And you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like a staple. But they're going to be matching. Just make sure that the sides where we mark the height of our prongs is even. Now you're going to want to grasp right under the height measurement mark and hold with your pliers and bend over with your fingers. Not all the way, just a gentle bend halfway on both sides of your prongs. And separately, you're going to want to bend about 80% of the way. Just make sure your height, the, make sure your prongs are straight. And then bend about 80% of the way, the tail ends of the wire. Now you're going to want to do that on all sides. And then use your tweezer nose pliers just to finish that bend off. We're going to go in sideways first and bend almost there. And then you're just going to go dive straight in and finish that bend. And make sure that the tail end is tucked right up against your prong there. Just so everything is nice and uniform. Now you're going to end up with uh, two sets of even prongs. So make sure that you do this on all of your prongs. Again, I'm going to bend 80% of the way on each prong with my tweezer nose pliers. On both sides. Now with this one, uh, I had to I have to uh, make sure that 
the wires are completely straight and flat all the way across. Um, also make sure you don't bend too hard because then your tail end of your wire is going to overlap the prong. But if that happens, just flip your pliers and give it a nice gentle squeeze. Test fit your stone. It doesn't fit all the way around the edges of your stone, so I'm going to take my scribing calipers and mark about one millimeter away from the actual prongs themselves. Just so I know where to bend, because we need to bend to make sure that the prongs fit nice and snug up against the stone before we attach everything. Because it's really hard to adjust things after they're attached and make it look nice. So go ahead and use your tweezer nose pliers to grab the entire prong of both sides and give it a nice gentle bend. So bend maybe like 10% of the way in on all sides. So I'm just I'm bending right right inside the mark that I marked on, on the bar of the prongs. Which is the base, of, this is going to be the base of your prong setting. Now, if you get a prong that is not fitting all the way together properly, that's um, a little bit open near where the bar is, that's okay because whenever we go to put everything together, it's going to fit uh, perfectly and then it's going to uh, tighten everything up. Now you're going to want to test fit your stone. It doesn't fit all the way, so I'm going to use my tweezer nose pliers just to grasp the bar of my prongs. And I'm going to hold with my pliers and bend with my fingers here. And I'm just going to bend in on both sides. And then I'll do that on the other one just to create a uh, curved bar, which is the base of your prong setting. Now it fits nicely, it fits very snug against my stone. So just take your tweezer nose pliers and grasp right above the bar on one side and then bend your tail ends of your wire in on one set of prongs. And then you're going to go a little bit underneath the bar on the other set of prongs which allows them to slide together uh, really nicely. So here I'm bending above the bar. So I'll just bend them in and then back out. You can even grasp that wire and then bend it out. And then you'll end up with something that looks a little bit uh, like this. Now these are going to fit nicely together, I believe. Test fit your stone. If you get to this point and you realize your prongs are just a tiny bit too tall, that's okay because whenever we put them together, everything is going to fit really nicely. So just adjust everything until you're satisfied. Now we're going to slide the prongs underneath one another in opposite directions. Now you're going to use your pliers to bend uh, the tail ends of the wire up 
where your bar is on your prong setting, which is the base of your setting. Um, and don't bend all the way just yet because it can knock your setting out of whack if you do that. So just uh, be, be patient with it. Now take your the tail ends of your wires and wrap them around each prong. Now I like to hold the bar of, of the setting with my thumbnail and then I'll hold the tail wires with, with, the, with my uh, thumb and pointer finger. So just wrap them around and then take your pliers and tighten everything up. You're going to want to go around each prong two times because this is going to ensure the height of your setting is correct uh, to make sure that your prongs don't go up onto the table of your stone and that way you, the bottom of your stone is not poking through the bottom of your setting. So just go around each prong two times with a, a little wrap around each one. Tighten everything up with the pliers. And then finish bending around each one. So now I almost have the tail end wires wrapped around each prong uh, two times. Go across the crisscross wires and the bars with your tweezer nose pliers just to make sure everything is nice and flat. Test fit your stone. Mm, that fits nicely. Make sure that you go across each uh, prong at a, di a diagonal, um, in a diagonal line with your uh, tweezer nose pliers and give those uh, curls a nice squeeze to make sure that they're fitting against the bottom of your setting perfectly. Um, this is, if you don't, it'll affect how your stone sits in your setting. You could cause it to sit crooked on one side if you don't because they'll be pushing your stone up in one on one side and then the rest won't be, you know. So just make sure you go across them and squeeze them down toward the base of the setting. Test fit your stone. Mm, that's looking nice. Take your tweezer nose pliers and grasp the very tip of your prong and bend in toward your stone. Now you're going to do this on each prong. You can also, if you have a gemstone that's above a 6 on the hardness scale, you can go around uh, the stone with your tweezer nose pliers and just press down to make sure that your prongs are sitting right on the facet. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial with me. I uh, hope that you enjoyed making this. Um, I'm going to list some links in the description box below just to make sure that um, that you guys have everything you need to make this setting. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have time. Please and thank you. Have a good day. That's a nice setting. Bye.